to start doing the job you have to do, plus answering these calls. So it gets a little bit difficult. I remember Pete said, this is going to be the hard part when they start talking to us again. Pete Conrad. Pete Conrad. Conrad. And I'm sure they're going to find that out in the moment also. Things are starting to happen pretty fast now that they're having to steer for the target point. Acquired signal through the Araya aircraft. Uh, Retro says our last data looked very good. I uh, should be right on the splash point. That's Doug Ward, by the way, the voice of Apollo mission control at the moment. The, this reestablishment of uh, ground contact to air, that varies, doesn't it? There's no precise time that you reestablish. Not really, and you're on a less uh, uh, powerful antenna on the command module. And so, um, the, the comm is usually uh, Apollo 14, so Apollo 14, this is Houston through Araya 3, how do you read, over? Okay, 14, now uh, you're coming in uh, loud and uh, a little bit of noise through Araya 3, how'd it go? the EMS entry monitor system is and yeah, that keeps you very happy. On this flight especially. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Now you were you were talking about them getting very busy now. Busy doing what? Well they're they're steering right now. They're trying to monitor the system. 14 Houston, uh, Samoa Rescue One has S band walk with you over. The helicopter has, has been, correct? Or SQ-1, I guess, is the helicopter. I don't know. He was trying to say that they're targeting... Okay, Houston, uh, Samoa Rescue 1 has S-Band Lock with Shoots to come out. They should come out right now. 
Droves are let go, and then the three mains come out with a huge bang again. This is the last big event of the mission right now. There it is. There you go. Incredible. That was the droves that came out. See, the droves came out, and there's the mains coming out. The droves will come down later. Can you see those? Yes, you see them. There they are, the three big arms and pipe parachutes. And just a moment ago, you could see the entire operation. First the drogue chutes, then the smaller pilot chutes that pull these big ones out, and there they are. The main chutes that will bring the command module of Apollo 14 safely back to the surface of the Pacific Ocean. Now they're going to start dumping the any propellants they have left. Right right out out out. Everyone rushing up to the bow of the ship. Everyone has their binoculars and their cameras ready to record this moment. Others are cooking out there now a mile a minute. The astronauts now have voice contact with the helicopter that will go in to recover them. Nothing in their way. They can just enjoy the ride. They do have to check, of course, to make sure that radio beacon continues to send out the signals that keep telling those helicopters and the ship where the module is. Operating just not too far from the chutes and the flashdown. 
and we see another now. Two helicopters have closed on the splashdown site, and that splashdown should be coming up just very shortly from now. <laughs> Down of Apollo 14. And those big orange and white parachutes, all the life going out of them, their work done. They will be set free by manual control inside the command module and allowed to float away where the water will go. Right. And first of all, they got to secure the electrical system, get a lot of these switches uh, off, and then they're going to get out of their couches. And the module can come to rest sort of over on its side, and with what in this picture appears to be its top actually down in the water. Fortunately, that has not happened because, of course, that blanks out radio communication for one thing, and it also necessitates uh, six or seven to ten or twelve minutes delay while special airbags are inflated near the top of the module in order that it will come back to this upright position. Thank you. 
requesting permission to drop uh, two swimmers at this time to handle the uh, parachute shroud lines, which are in the water.